Hi guys, today we have reached our 1000 subscribers goal and we will be going over the SQL result set and how to export a query result to a file. Don't forget to hit the like button in order to help others find this tutorial. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Um, please subscribe to my channel and activate the notification button. Let's start then. Let's go over the query results. Uh, today we'll show you how you can use or view uh, SQL results in too many different ways. So the first one will be the grid results. The grid results, uh, let me use actually this query that I already have. So we save some time. I'm going to run this query. I know and whatever result set you are looking at here at the bottom this is actually what we call a grid view or grid results and the second type of uh, the result uh, actually view will be the text results to test as you can see there is a tool for it right here It says results to text. So if I run my query, you will see all my results view actually has changed from the grid view to the text view. This looks like a text file actually. Um, let's say you want to go back to the grid view. If you want to go back to the grid view, you just click on the icon next to the text view and it says here if I point or hover over it it says uh, results to grid I'll click on it now we are back to the grid view now let's go back to the text view let's say I need these results to look like a comma delimited for example uh, result set in a text view in order to do that you will need first of all to set up your delimiter and you go under the tools menu then options then you go after that and the query results and from there you go under SQL server then you look for result to text. Once you click on that, you will see the output format here. There is a drop down where you can select all kind of delimiters that you want. Let's say we want to do comma delimited. So you click on comma delimited. You click on OK. Now, let me show you something here. If you click execute, you won't see any changes. So in order for the changes to take effect, you need to literally open a new window, build your query, then execute that query under the text, results to text, and you will see that the change took effect now. So this is my header or column headers. And as you can see between each column, there is a comma delimited. Now let's say we want to change the delimiter from comma to something else. Let's say pipe. In order to do that again, you go through the same steps, tools, options, go under query result, SQL server, then result to text, and you go under output format, you open that drop down menu and as you can see there is not nothing that says pipe in order to do that you have to go under custom delimited and you literally have to specify your delimiter and click OK and again you have to close this 
windows because in order for the change to take effect we need to open a new window and as you can see now I have the pipe delimiter right here now let's do one more um, example again and let's say we want to change this again to a different type of delimiter to where we will be using the tilde so you, this is the, our tilde delimiter again copy my query open a new query window and there you go now I have the tilde as a delimiter. Now let's go over the third way or option in which you can use actually or view your result set. So we saw the grid view which is this one. We saw the text view. Now the third one will be outputting actually your results over here into a file and in order to do that there is another icon here on the right side of the grid and it says result to file so when you click on that run your query SQL management studio will give you the option to choose a path where you want that file to go to so let's say I want to put it under my documents for example or another desktop and let's call it employee now let's say I want this to be as a CSV or let's say text as a text file Okay, so it's under my desktop. Let me open my desktop here. And as you can see, the employee file is right there. So if I double click it, I have my column header here. And I have my data. Now, let's say I want to read this file in a way that I can differentiate between each column. In order to do that, you just literally need to open an Excel. And once you do that, you can open the file from its location. And I think we put it as text file. Okay. Now because it's delimited, we need to add some extra steps here. So it, once you open it, it opens this way in, in uh, Excel. You choose delimited, then next. Then because it's a tilde delimited, well, we need to specify the delimiter here. So once you specify the delimiter, automatically the columns here will be split. Then you go under next. I have all these as text. I don't have to worry about the other ones. So I just click finish. And as you can see, now I have my file in a way that I can read it easily. Okay, and this is how actually you open or view uh, your results 
in all those three different ways that we have gone through today. Um, first one was the grid view, the second one is the text result within Management Studio, and the third one is spitting out your um, result uh, or query result into a, an external file or a file that you will save within your external hard drive. I hope that this uh, helped you actually today to learn something new in SQL Server and thank you so much.